empty history. I'm Jim Conway, on a three-day pass. Home's a little too far to go, so I'm just looking for a change of scene and some good sack time. And, well, maybe a little fun. I like this town. Quiet enough to relax, friendly enough to get acquainted. I guess it's about 7 o'clock the next morning. I'm fast asleep in this room at the Decatur Hotel on the square. I don't know how long it's been going on, but... How do you expect the guy to sleep with all that racket going on out there? You know, if you'd wise me up to this, this shindig, I, I'd have gone someplace else. I don't know you knew about it, Sergeant. You're in the table. Yeah. Well, if I was running a hotel, I'd have enough. You got the mail ready? There it is. Is this everything? Everything. Okay, you'll get it back when it's done. Did that mail belong to the folks who were staying here? That's right. But, well, since, since when have they started censoring mail in this country? I told you it was in the papers. Now, just exactly what kind of a bird is it? Don't let it get you down, Sergeant. Okay. It got me up. And anyone who gets me up when I don't have to get up is a... Brother, you just lost the cup. Long distance, please. Long distance. 
long distance. Uh, I want to speak to Miss Maisie Goldberg at Calumet 54902. Uh, that's in Chicago. Do you have a permit number? Huh? A, a, a what? A permit number. A permit number? What, what's this? All long distance calls must be cleared to the Commissar of Communications and a permit number obtained. Say, what kind of chicken? Look, what's all this hogwash you're feeding me? The phone calls to my girlfriend, I... All long distance calls must be cleared with the Commissar of Communications and a permit number obtained. Permit number? Commissar of Communications? It just doesn't make sense. There's something wrong with this town. Seriously wrong. He looks like a wrong guy, too. I've got to see what's going on out there. By virtue of powers vested in it by the Supreme Soviet, the Communist Party of America will direct all organizations of the people, both social and state. The private operation of hotels, banks, stores, and services will be permitted only at the discretion of the Council of People's Commissars. Any such operation conducted without official sanction is a crime against the state and will be punished accordingly. There may be some among you who will consider this as an encroachment on your individual liberty. Such people will have to be re-educated. This must be some kind of a gag. With that phone call. That censored mail. Hey, who is that Dombey up there? He's one of the commissars. What's he trying to do? He's telling us that we're not allowed to talk. We're only allowed to listen. You... Inability to learn fast is satisfied. All right, comrades, now I'm going to tell you what all this means in plain America. This town is now an active unit in the Communist International. From now on, the welfare of the people's state comes first. Most of you misguided people have been living under a reactionary capitalist democracy for so long that you find it difficult to understand what we mean by the welfare of the people's state. The people's state is you. Not me, brother. Not me. You might be fooling some of those jokers with this people state routine. But not me. Why didn't somebody do something? Why don't they call the cops? Yeah, the cops. Come here, you won't get away with it. People won't stand for it. As soon as they realize the extent to which you've taken away their liberty, never mind the farewell speech. They're Not you too, Chief. I guess so. But why? Why you? Well, performing my duties, I guess, as chief of police of this community, Anybody according to the best of my ability and according to the Constitution of the United States. Now what do I do? I gotta do something. Got to get out of here. Council expects it to be clearly understood that it will tolerate no interference in the execution of its public responsibilities. Any person hindering or delaying an officer of the people's state in the performance of his duties will be considered an enemy of the people and punished accordingly. It's the duty of all loyal of the people's state to cooperate with the council at all times make any sacrifices which may be ordered for the benefit of the people's state as a whole. Remember, the future of the people's state is your future. You must think, act, and live for the state. The people of this community have waited a long time for the right kind of leadership. Now that you have it, remember that the people's state is your state only if you give it your full and unswerving cooperation in its fight for freedom. No one can get out of his duty. Get out of here. 
chair. Roads blocked. Newspaper office boarded up. Bank seized. Maybe, maybe I'm dreaming all this. No. I got to get out of here. But how? Time is an important factor in the establishment of the people's state. To avoid bloodshed, citizens will obey all orders of people's militia. Persons found engaging in acts of sabotage will be summarily shot. The state demands action. It's on the basis of his actions that the man's loyalty to the community will be judged. Anytime a citizen doubts whether he's doing the right thing, you call right the queen thing. of you and your jackal? Who elected you to run this community? By what right do you tell us what to believe in and where to live? What makes you think you can tell us where to travel and, and where to work and what to read? We're Americans, and we believe in the freedom of the individual to make up his mind for himself. It's not the state that comes first, it's the people in it. And if you don't recognize the rights of the people, you don't belong here. Take your hands off me. Let go! Let me go! Let me go! refusal to work with occupation specified by the Commissar of Employment. The defendant's attitude throughout has been inimical to the welfare of the people of state. Violation of state code, Article 47, Section 6, Paragraph 4, respecting private ownership of commercial enterprise, engaged in retail sale and distribution of essential commodities without government permit. Has the defendant confessed to these crimes? Yes. The defendant is sentenced? to an indefinite term in state labor camp 14. But I didn't confess. I didn't say a word. Is it wrong to sell bread? I demand that... Oh. Well, it's no dream now, that dirty... They got me where they want me. Oh, if I could only get my hands on that... The defendant is charged with conspiracy under Defense of the People's Act, Article 16, Paragraph 4, to wit attempting to do bodily harm to officers of the state. You confess to this crime? What crime? Look, I don't recognize this court or those bunch of hoods you call officers of the state. The defendant will confine himself to answering questions rather than raising them. I'm entitled to defend myself. You appear to be a sensible, realistic citizen. Perhaps you went to the aid of that woman through a mistaken sense of chivalry. I'll call it what you like. And it wasn't a mistake either. That woman had a perfect right to say what she did. And everything she said goes double for me. The charge against you is very serious. If it's necessary to add treason to that charge, we'll go hard with you. Treason? Hey, if there's anybody guilty of treason, it's that zombie who's shooting his mouth off out there in the square. Leave him alone. You got anything further to say? I sure do. You don't seriously think you're going to get Americans to go communist, do you? Not with all those benefits you've been handing out. You know, the trouble with you and all your crowd is, you think that you can make people act like puppets while you dangle them on that worn-out string of ideas that should have been buried along with the guy that invented them. You mugs are living back in the 19th century with the bustle skirts and mutton chop whiskers. You're just about as old fashioned as my grandmother's course. You seem to know a great deal about us. You ain't kidding. You just try pushing Americans around and you get just about as far as the creek. Sure, sure, you find a few suckers here and there, the, the kind of guys that live by letting George do it. But you aren't going to fool anybody who knows anything about you. And remember some of those tricks you've pulled over the last 30 years. And there's more than enough of us to take care of you. I admire your spirit, if not your knowledge. Communism needs men like you. A little re-schooling will do you a world of good. I'm going to offer you the opportunity of swearing allegiance. Communist International, 
and the people's state of America. I advise you to accept. In this way, though, you'll be punished to the full extent of the law. You want to know something, Judge? You and all your commie friends can go plumb to blazes. Under the powers invested in me by the people's state, Senator is sentenced to death. The sentence will be carried out at the time and place to be determined by the court. I'll be in a, a real one some morning. Dawn, usually the time they, they do it. Kyle. Maybe they do their killing at night. Everything closed tight. A ghost town. Like the place had been hit by the plague. Am I the only one left of my? Where is everybody? Maybe it's a trick. Any minute they'll mow me down. Walk for freedom. Huh. Wonder how many of them were out here this morning. Joseph Perito, Herman Cole, Abraham Davis, Thomas Davenport. Maybe they're dead. They've forgotten what they fought for. Feels like the end of the world. It's going to be a commie world. I don't want it anyway. Well, why don't they get it over with? But nothing happened. I thought of my paper, my money. I had to get back to my hotel. It was dark and the night clerk asleep. I was really pushed and I hit the bed. 
just for a minute. It seemed safe enough for a little while. But I guess I fell fast asleep. Bright day when I woke up. And I thought, if they're gonna get me, let them get me in uniform. The only way out was through the lobby. the whole thing after all. Now here's my key, room 25. Uh, you got the door? It's all right. Be five hours, sir. Okay, I'll slide down with you. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Excuse me, ma'am. Very sorry. Oh, it's perfectly all right. Something's happened all right. The town looks just the way it did when I first saw it. Quiet, clean, ready. Sergeant, how are you feeling today? Say, so aren't you the man that... That's right. I'm the judge that sentenced you to death. I see you're still alive. Yeah. I don't know. Went fine. Better than we expected. In the papers all over the country by now. Next week's issue of Life magazine, too. Cigarette, Sergeant? No, thanks. You know, when we first talked it over, a lot of the fellows shouted it down. But it wasn't necessary. A bunch of us thought it was. Always seemed to me no better way to show a community how it'd be if the communists took over than to act it out. Don't you think so? Yeah. The fellow said I did a swell job with that legal language. My lawyer wrote it out for me. You did a swell job too, young fellow. You looked as though you swallowed it all, hook, line, and sinker. Did I? Did. I guess they keep you boys pretty well informed. I could tell by the way you tore into me. Guess it's part of your training. What would you say? I was wondering whether knowing all the answers the way you did was part of your training. Oh, sure, sure. Well, if all the people understood things the way you did, that stage revolution wouldn't have been necessary. Well, we try to keep up with things. I couldn't tell them I'd been fooled. And maybe if I'd read the paper the night before, I wouldn't have been. But I did tell the old boy how the service keeps us in the know. When it was all told, I guess he understood that for all of us, military or civilian, it boiled down to whether you were sucker enough to want life as it was in the square yesterday, or whether you wanted the American. <laughs> The country sure looked good to me that day. Better than it had ever looked before. I was thinking about that town and about the towns all over America, just like that. I'm wondering how many of them needed that kind of a joke. I didn't think there were many. <laughs> 